Hey, how's it going? This is Matt, and in today's video, we're going to be doing uh, a quick little uh, <laughs> funny... I just want to show you a funny thing that happened yesterday when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega. So, this is not exactly a gameplay video, but I will be showing you a replay of Game 3 of a match that I played against uh, as Dark Magician against a based deck. So, if you don't know what a based deck is, uh, based deck is the deck that won YCS uh, this month, or last month in February. Um... Basically, like, base stands for, like, big, awkward, stupid, exploitative deck, where it's just an amalgamation of, like, all the most broken engines in Yu-Gi-Oh! imaginable. Like, you have the DPE engine, you have the Hulk engine, you have the, uh, the Adventure engine. Like, just throw a bunch of random, overpowered engines in a deck, in a pile of cards, and call it a deck. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, that's what it is. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I do want to eventually do a, a full gameplay video where I show all three games, or like, you know, best two out of three against the base deck. Um, I should have uh, saved the replay, so I play a, a three games here against the base deck. Uh, I only saved the replay of the game three, uh, only because it was the most interesting game. Uh, but also, uh, I, I guess like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega um, just isn't as intuitive for me to save replays. Like, in EDO Pro, like, the, the option to save replay just is up in your face. I, I don't know. I just feel like I just forget to save the replays when I'm playing Yu Gi Oh Omega. But anyway, I did save the replay of Game Three here. Um, so this is it's a funny replay I want to show because uh, I'm going second, and actually, um, so I, I win two games and I lose one game, right? But the two games I win against ba this base deck, I'm I'm literally going second, right? So people love to shit on my deck profiles. Be like, oh, you can't win going second. Like I swear, I win more games going second than going first. Like I'm not even exaggerating. But anyway, um, all right, so let's get into this. All right, so right off the bat, uh, I have a pretty good opening hand for going second, right? Obviously, I decided into my going second cards. I have evenly matched. I have three evenly matched in my deck. I have three Dark Rule No More in my deck, right? Obviously, three Red Eyes Fusion because it's, like, literally one of our best going second cards. Because, um, you know, you play it, they ha they're forced to negate. If not, you just clear the board and win, right? Um... Yeah, so basically I open with like Im immediately two abil two baits, two the ability to bait two interruptions from them, right? Two omni negates. If they don't if they negate red eyes fusion, I go to evenly match. If they negate evenly match, I can I have broad souls like full combo into dragoon, right? So basically they would need three interruptions to stop me, and even then like I could grab something uh if I have magician's rod like maybe I can grab something off soul servant uh with upstart goblin to extend my combo. So yeah, pretty good opening hand, uh, and yeah, and obviously I'm going to draw a six card because I'm going second, but like, in my deck I have three Dark Rune No More, I have two more evenly matched, I have uh, two more copies of Red Eyes Fusion, I have, you know, two uh, Super Polymerizations, I have good cards that I can draw, and I would say like, it's, there's at least seven good cards I can draw in, in the remaining 35 cards of my deck. Uh, at least seven, maybe more, right? That can I can like extend combos, but uh, that means that I have a one in five chance of drawing a really good card. So that'll just like can possibly blow them out. But anyway, let's see what they do. So here go here comes the Brave Engine or the Adventure Engine. Uh, then you have your little Tenny Engine. Blah 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 blah. Uh, here's the Dragon Make for own. Small world, blah 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 blah. Oh, he has the magician soul engine. Of course he does. Here comes the Hulk engine with uh, Despot, right? So, uh, Borload Savage. Here comes the Anaconda engine to make uh, a DPE, right? All right. So he ends his turn on Barone. I don't know what this face down card is. Uh. I thought you could just click your opponent's face here and switch to their view, but I'm just going to assume it's infinite impermanence because uh, usually, like, usually, Yu-Gi-Oh players in general are really, really uncreative at deck building, right? Like, in general, they're just terribly uncreative at deck building, and the base deck is probably the most uncreative form of deck building imaginable, so if they have a set card, I'm just going to assume it's infinite impermanence, right? So I'm going to, you know... Keep that in mind, and uh, tr first try to clear their board and attempt to play around it. But right now, they have three interruptions. Two in the form of Omni Negates, one in the form of, uh, you know, a, a, like a pop, right? A quick a quick pop. I mean, honestly, this could also be Artifact Scythe, uh, for all I know. But um, 
unlikely that they just hard drew it in the six of card deck. Anyway, so yeah, uh, so just right off the bat, I'm thinking, okay, so Red Eyes Fusion can bait one of the Omni Gates, evenly match can bait the other one, and now I just have to play through a DPE pop, right? Um, and then to get my Dragoon. If I can get Dragoon out, I can get rid of DPE, I can get rid of, uh, sorry, I can get rid of uh, Savage Dragon, I can get rid of Barone, um, and I'll be in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, so the cards in my hand are pretty good at that. But again, I still have a, like a one, a 1 in 5 chance, or even more, of, of drawing like a really good card. Let's say I draw a Red Eyes Fusion here. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I can definitely clear their board. <laughs> um, because I'll go ref, they'll negate. Evenly matched, they'll negate. Ref, they won't negate, and then I'll destroy them. <laughs> so, let's see what I draw, shall we? And then you'll see why I, pu I, pu I put out that video yesterday. Uh, hyping up a specific card. Alright, I drew Super Polymerization. Now, one thing I want to note about Super Polymerization that you might not know. So, super, so if they have, if you know that they have a DPE um, Scythe, um, you you should super polymerization on your draw phase, right? Why on your draw phase? Because usually they will try to use DPE or whatever to pop um, your their scythe um, on your draw phase or standby phase, right? Uh, but since you are the turn player, you have priority, so you get to play the first card of any phase. So if you play the first card of the draw phase as super poly. Um, and fuse away DP, and let's say you're against a, a, a PK deck, right? Like they have DP Bardish, both of which can pop Scythe, right? Uh, yeah, you fuse those away, um, they can no longer pop Scythe. So just keep that in mind. So why did I let it go to standby phase without playing Super Poly? Well, one, uh, I did not have Always Chain on, so you should really be putting, like, turning on Always Chain, right? Uh, two, I didn't really think that this would be Scythe because they didn't search it, right? And I figured if they hard drew Scythe in a 60 f card deck, like that'd be insane, right? Um, but anyway, yeah. I, so I really should have played it at the start of draw phase, but I didn't. But that's okay because <laughs> you'll see why Super Polymerization is like one of the best cards in the game right now. Check this out. <laughs> so Super Poly <laughs> fused DPE and Savage Dragon, which are both darks, into Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Recall what Starving Venom Fusion Dragon's effect is on the field. Let's read it. If this card is fusion summon, you can make this card gain attack equal to one opponent's special summon monster until the end of this turn. So that means uh, they're Baron de Fleur. Uh, yeah, you can just gain 3,000 attack and become 1,500, right? It's an activated effect, so they have the option to negate it. If they don't negate it, you have a 1,500 beater and you just run over the Baron de Fleur. <laughs> like a bitch, right? <laughs> Um, and here's the thing, if they negate you, which they probably will, Star Venom Fusion has a graveyard effect that says, where is it, uh, blah 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 blah, if this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all your opponent's special summon monsters. So look what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate the unsummon effect, he's going to negate with Barone, so Star Venom gets destroyed, and then activates the graveyard effect, goodbye field. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm telling you, if you're not playing Super Polymerization, this is a main deck, right? This is not even my side deck. This is a freaking main deck option right here, right? I was looking at my hand thinking, all right, I have Red Eyes Fusion. I have Evenly Matched. I just need one more interruption, and then I can bait out all their negates, right? All their interruptions. No, all you need is Super Poly. I'm telling you, right? One Super Poly cleared their entire board. DP will not be coming back. Like, this is, this is great, right? So even though I think that this is infinite impermanence, um... <clears throat> I'm actually going to, instead of hard playing Red Eyes Fusion, I'm going to go the Rod Souls route, uh, playing around the fact that this is in permanence, right? So, I'm going to summon Rod. He doesn't imperm me. I do get Soul Servant. So, I'm going to, so Magician Souls is going to send Dark Magician. So, the reason I send Dark Magician here is because uh, if this is in permanence and they stop Anaconda, um, I can still go and have a Dark Magician that I gave her with um, Eternal Soul setup, right? And then Eternal Soul can uh, help me follow up on the following turn to either grab Dark Magical Circle or go into Dragoon on my following turn, right? Because I see one card set, one card in hand, and like <laughs> their boss monsters in the graveyard, I feel pretty, I feel feel pretty confident that even if he imperms me, um, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> like I don't think he's gonna OTK me or do anything like whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna use Souls to send Red Eyes Fusion to draw a card. And, and evenly match two to draw two cards, and then I'm going to chain soul service. So uh, here I was going to set uh, ma 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 um, magical sal Magician Salvation on top. So I, I'll get that. I'll get one more card. Let's see what I get. 
And then, oh, he just surrenders. So he probably doesn't have imperm at this point. Um, I mean, even if he did, like, he, he probably realizes he's screwed because he blew his Hal combo, he blew his Brave com he blew everything, right? Um, but, yeah. <laughs> this is a hilarious game. But, uh, yeah, people who say, like, my decks can't go second like are out of their minds. Like, obviously, this is side deck. Like, I sided and evenly matched. Um, I didn't even need it, right? <laughs> but let's say I did. Like, let's say instead of drawing Super Paul, I drew, like, Dark Ruler no more, then, yeah, their board is broken. Or I drew a, a, a second evenly match, or I drew a second Red Fusion. Like, like there's so many things I could have drawn that could have broken that board. Like, yeah, Red Eyes Fusion is a going second card, guys. Like, you play it, they have to negate, or they, they lose their whole board. Like, it's and, and because activation is negated, you can play a second one, or you can keep making plays, so... Yeah, I don't know. This is just a, a hilarious game I just wanted to show you. And I don't want to hear any bullshit about, oh, this base player sucks. Uh, you know, he probably could have, um, you know, done something, had a bet, ended on a better board, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Especially, like, given, like, the way that I just cleared his, like, his board with three, with one card, right? Super Poly cleared his board single-handedly, right? If, even if he had more shit on the board, I, I still had Red Eyes Fusion and evenly matched, right? So... Yeah, I don't want to hear it. Like, yeah, maybe this dude sucked. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Uh, I just wanted to showcase, one, why I posted that video yesterday of why you should be playing Super Poly. Two, why you should be playing three Red Eyes Fusion. And three, uh, why maybe it's okay. Like, don't be afraid of going second. Even though we are built for going first, like, seriously, there there have been games I've won, best two out of threes, where I 2 0 them or 2-1 them, and the my two wins were going second. Like, it's perfectly viable. Don't like. Don't worry about that. Anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I had I had a I had a blast as soon as I drew that super poly. I just got just put like a big smile on my face. Like, yeah, I, I was so happy drawing that super poly because I knew exactly what was going to happen as soon as I did. Anyway, all right. Thanks for watching and tune in because in the future I'll probably I'll, I'll try to remember to save the replays of all the games. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think the other game that I won, going second, uh, he set up a Barone. He set up a board or whatever where I baited Negates with Red Eyes Fusion and then got Dragunaut anyway. Like, yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that you'll be seeing, like, going second. But, um, yeah. Uh, so hopefully I'll, I'll eventually post a full uh, best two out of three, re like, replays of uh, Dark Magician against the base deck. Um, but, yeah. But for now, I, I, I hope you enjoyed this because I know I did. All right. Later.